today we're talking about seven sneaky things women do when they aren't attracted to you. You feel what I'm saying? So the reason why I, I, you know, I wanted to title it, you know, the sneaky things they do is because, you know, you have certain things that, uh, you know, will be obvious that a woman's not attracted to you. Like, for example, you know, you try to text her and she's ignoring your calls. Like that's, that's obvious. You know what I'm saying? But right. what happens is, is that chicks will do, you know, little sneaky things that um, will let you know that she's not attracted to you. And the reason why they'll do, why they do these sneaky things is, you know, one of course is because they like attention. So one of the biggest things is the attention that you're giving them. They like it, but they they don't necessarily like you. They're not necessarily attracted to you. So this is why you'll still get them interacting with you. But then it, it you know, it, you usually don't, get anything going as far as sex is concerned, as far as you really even getting to be with her, you know what I'm saying? And so I wanted to, you know, point out, you know, seven, seven of these things so that you can implement this in your game and, you know, and see when you see these things going down. So you don't waste your time with uh, any one of these chicks right now, this is in no order of importance. So we're just going to go one through seven and then, you know, talk about it and get it in. All right. So the first thing we have on the list is, you know, what a, what a sneaky thing a woman do when she's not attracted to you is make excuses why they can't have sex with you, okay? Make mm. excuses as to why they can't have sex with you. Now, this is this is the sneaky thing that they do, right? Because what will happen is, is that you'll be interacting with a chick. Um, let's say you want to hook up um, and she'll be she'll say something like, Oh, well, you know, um, like I'm, I'm kind of not there yet. I'm not like ready to, to take it to that level. You understand? Or I got to get to know you and talk to you more or, you know, um, like, you know, I, I just, I just feel like I'm, I'm not comfortable enough to, to do that or take it to, you know, they, they'll say shit like that right now. What was funny is, and, and, and all you guys should watch this, this show, um, they have that show on Netflix called Love is Blind, right? And so in the show, they the basis of the show is that these people, they go on these blind dates where they can't actually see each other. They're in different rooms, but they can hear each other talk. And then they go out and they talk to a bunch of different people or whatever. And then the, um, the guy, you know, proposes to the girl and then they get engaged. And then throughout the show, they're interacting with each other. And by the end of the show, they're supposed to get married. And then a person says, you know, either yes or no at the altar or whatever. But anyway, so there's these two particular chicks on the show who ended up with these two dudes, right? And I don't remember the exact name, but I'm gonna just call them girl A and girl B, right? And so girl A and girl B, they get to the two guys that they're supposed to marry. And so what happened is throughout the show, all the other couples we're having sex. You understand what I'm saying? Right? All the other couples are having sex. They they was doing the thing or whatever because they're with the people or whatever. And these two women, girl A and girl B, right? They didn't have sex with the guys that they were they were dealing with. You understand? And I, I think I think girl A might have had sex with the guy later on, but I know girl B didn't have sex with the guy, right? But anyway, so both of them were given excuses to the guys, right? So girl A was telling her guy, she kept saying, I, you know, I just, I don't really feel the connection yet. You know, I, I think we need to like, you know, get to know each other a little bit better more and all this other shit, right? But girl A was ready to fuck another guy on the show, like immediately to the, mm. point, to the point where she told the guy she was with that she wanted to fuck the other guy. Like, could you imagine that? Wow. Imagine a chick telling you, Imagine the chick telling you, "Hey, I'm not ready to to have sex yet." But then she and this is like she was like drunk when she said this supposedly, right? She says, and, and imagine that same girl says, "Oh, I want to fuck this other guy." Like, come on, right. you understand what I'm saying? And then girl B, she got exposed because what happened was she didn't have sex with the guy she was with, and she kept telling the guy, "Hey, I'm just not there yet. I just, you know, I just want to." Like, you know, uh, get to know you a little more. I'm just not the type of girl that's going to, you know, just jump into sex and yada, 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 right? So then they had a scene where she was hanging out with, with a few of her, her girlfriends. And when her girlfriend said, you know, how's the sex? And she said, oh, we didn't have sex yet. And, she, and her girlfriend says, wow, that's so not like you. You understand what that's I'm saying? That's so not like, hey, I remember that. Yeah, too. remember yeah. I was telling you about that? <laughs> 
So, yep. so basically, what happened was, you know, as basically saying like this girl fucks a mm-hmm. lot, but she didn't fuck this guy because she wasn't into him. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, both these women were coming up with these excuses as to why they can't have sex with them now, and the reason really is is because they weren't attracted to this muff these motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? They weren't sexually right. attracted to them. Therefore, they didn't want to fuck. And see, this is what you guys got to understand, right? A lot of times, women, see, I remember, I think it was, I think it was Patrice O'Neill who said this, where he said, uh, women have to like you to fuck you. Men have to like you to fuck you twice. You understand what I'm saying? And so right. basically what that means is us men, we'll, we'll fuck whoever. You understand? You understand? We're like, well, we, you know. She got a nice little ass. I'll fuck her. Whatever. I don't got. I don't even got to be that attracted to her. I'll fuck her. You understand? But for women, right. women got to fucking like you, bro. You understand what I'm saying? They got to be attracted to you to fuck you. You understand? There's only a few exceptions where if a woman is extremely horny and you're just sort of there, and you right. know, and and then probably in her mind she'll try to find something attractive about you to to to, to have sex with you, or whatever. But generally, women have to be attracted to you sexually to want to have sex with you you understand what i'm saying and so what happens is is that when a woman is giving you all these goddamn excuses oh well you know i gotta get to know you more it's too early in in you know i i, I just you know we don't know each other that well. all these other extra excuses that means she's not she's she's not really attracted to you and the, and the reason why it's a sneaky way is because what happens is they they give the the almost the illusion or the promise that it's going to happen. You understand? It's like, oh well, yeah, I, you know, I, I really like you, but I just feel like, you know, uh, we need to wait a little longer, and then that time doesn't come. You feel what I'm saying? In a lot of situations, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? It's like so that's what I'm saying. Where, but again, because women love attention, they'll they'll you know they'll go through the motions with you. They'll do all that extra shit because you're probably thinking, oh, but. You know why? Why would she bother if she doesn't want to have sex in the first place? It's because of, it's because of attention. Because remember, women, they it, this is the thing. Women crave uh, uh, attention from guys because most of the attention that we we want to give them is sexual attention. So if they mm. can soak up a lot of non sexual attention, shout out to my dude Alan Roger Curry for for uh, you know coining that term, if they could soak up a lot of the non-sexual attention, they're going to do that. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. They're going to fucking do that. And that's why they'll do that type of shit. They'll be like, well, let me let me string this guy along. Let me fucking tell him all this bullshit. You understand? And then and then all they'll do is say at the end of at the end of all of that, you know, I just I just don't feel a connection. I just think we should should just be friends. You understand? Right. That's all they'll do. <laughs> but but again, they they love the attention so that's why they're going to fucking make all these excuses as to why they can't have sex with you now and the thing is they women know that um you know guys are naive and they know that guys have heard this before so and they know that that it's worked on other guys so when they do this they know that you're gonna fall for it which is why they do it you understand what i'm saying that's why they do it, because they look at you and they're like, yeah, all I got to do is give them the speech of, oh, I'm not ready right now, and I got to get comfortable, and I got, they they know what the fuck they're doing, you know what I'm saying? So, you got to understand that, you know, they do that that type of shit, but, uh, but Miles, what's, what's your thoughts on all that stuff? Well, you see, the, the reason why I guess some guys fall for it is because you know, as much as, as much as we try our best to instill masculinity in a lot of, in a lot of dudes, um, it, and there's enough men out there that still act on a feminine, a, a, a feminine um, wavelength. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. And the reason why I say that is because the same way that women love attention, there's a lot of guys out there that because they're not on a masculine wavelength, mm-hmm. they they tend to enjoy the attention of a female as well. Like right. they start to right. feel like, oh. I'm so, you know, you know, they, they actually agree with the chick that sitting down and talking with each other is is where it's at. Like right. that's, you know, it's like deep down he wants to have sex with her, but he's willing to settle or he's willing to, you know, 
uh, allow himself to to like play the game of oh yeah you know we could just hang out and we could just talk and right. we could just like as long as we're sharing each other's attention and blah 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 but what the guy doesn't realize is that at the end of the day on a masculine wavelength we're about action we're right. about what 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 we're doing the female is is about talking and attention and she she's sitting there soaking up your energy and time right, and you're sitting right. there you're sitting there as a man you're basically just entertaining her her desires which is just soaking up your attention and time right. a man truly desires a woman that will actually do something for him mm. so so if you're not going to have sex with him you're going to do so you're going to like this is why men go to strip clubs right because they the the chick dance dances for them. She's serving them a drink. Mm. She she's talking to them. You mm. understand? Because right. usually on a date, is it's the guy is the guy. Li he's listening to the girl mm. talk. But at the strip club, you got the girl. She's asking you a bunch of questions. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? Exactly. On a date, it's the opposite. The guy's asking the chick a bunch of questions, allowing her to talk on and on about her life. Right. When at the strip club, after you give the girl a tip. She's sitting in your lap asking you about your life. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, mm -hmm. so, so, so that's what I'm saying with, you know, these, these chicks is coming up with these sneaky, sneaky ways and the way that you can, um, you know, bypass all of this shit is to really be a man. You understand? It's right. to really understand where you, where you stand and what you want from these females. Mm -hmm. Cause that's, that's, you know, that's what it is with, with a, with enough of these dudes out here where it's like, we don't exactly know, we don't exactly know what we want from them. Right. And because we don't know what we want, then we don't know how to, how to ask and request it or demand it, you know, how, however you like to, you know, to phrase it. And then, and then after that, you don't, you, you don't, you don't, uh, like enforce the requirement. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Cause you'll tell a chick, yo, well, you know, you know, I want to go out and, 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 you know, and, and see, and see and see where the where the attraction level is but after that you know once the attraction level is set i'm trying to get get back to your, your apartment or back to my apartment or, mm -hmm. or to a hotel right. and, and, what, and what will happen is a lot of dudes in they'll keep all that information in the back of their mind and they'll never actually express that to the chick because they're afraid of the chick not wanting to be with them anymore or not exactly. wanting to continue the date anymore and it's mm -hmm. like well you gotta you 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 gotta see past all all of those fears and and go after what you want and if she's not the one to give it to you then you have to move on you right. see what i'm saying right because a, a lot you know enough dudes out here is thinking oh well i like her and i like her and i and 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 she's so special and that's why i was talking about the dude in the, um in the subscriber email i'm like that's why you can't make one chick that special you <laughs> right. see what i'm saying right you have to you have to be willing to you know you know and and and, and that's why i said pay more attention to the experience and not just the girl mm -hmm. because as a man you you're you're about the action the experience the mm -hmm. things that you're doing is mm -hmm. not the per, the person you know is not is not at that special as the experience mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying right because mm -hmm. because the point is if you're trying to experience something and mm -hmm. she's not mm -hmm. it's your duty to leave her alone and go find the girl that's willing to experience that thing. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Facts. That's why, that's why at the end of the day, it's about the experience. So when, when the chick says something like, Oh, well, you know, I'm not really feeling the connection and I don't really know. And okay, cool. Peace. Like I, there's right. nothing more I have to say to you. Right. Because I'm, a, if, if anybody follows, um, if anybody follows football, there's a dude named Marshawn Lynch. He's the one that coined the phrase beast mode. Right. He's, he was a running. He was a running back for the Raiders and for the um, Seattle Seahawks. Mm. And one of his famous catchphrases is, "I'm a, I'm about that action, boss." Right. You understand? Right. And it, it was something that I think he said to his coach, meaning that you know, you know, you know, just tell me, tell me what the the uh, the game plan is and let me go. Right. You understand? Because right. I'm about that. I'm about that action. And that's what a that's what a man does. A man is about action. A man is about what what it is we're doing. You know, a woman could sit and, and talk in circles all night if you, if, if, but that's if you allow her to, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. As a man, you, you're, you're running the situation. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, you can ask her a couple of questions and have a conversation and stuff, but it's also up to you when that conversation ends. And when you say to her, hey, 
you 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 take her by the hand and say, "Hey, let's get out of here." Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then and then and then and then if she start acting like she's then she's uncomfortable, you ha- you have to leave her alone. Mm-hmm. You have to leave her alone because by this time it's almost nine thirty. It's almost ten o'clock. Right. You know, if she's not feeling you, then you need to give yourself enough time to go to go go on your phone and holler at that other chick that might that might actually be about what you're about. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Nah, real talk, real fucking talk. For real. You know what I'm saying? So that's so right. So guys, right there, that's number one. When these chicks be making excuses why they can't have sex with you now. Now this the second uh, sneaky thing women do when they aren't attracted to you. Now this shit is this shit is real sneaky. And if a, if a woman ever does this to you, understand that she has no interest in you at all. Like she's not attracted to you at all. Okay, so, at all. <laughs> at all. So the second one is. Is when a woman 